Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. Me and Sam are stuffing our face with sausage rolls and we're going out fishing for pretty much anything. So stay tuned, hopefully we can get a load of fish. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! We've got all the hooks baited for the long line. Just two more to go. There were quite a few hooks there, eh, mate? Yeah, loads. It's about 40 hooks, I think. It's about 40 hooks now. That means there's a chance of 40 fish. Hopefully we get that flatty. We are determined to get it. So what we're going to do, we've shown you all this before, guys. We're going to tie the anchors on, get it all set up. And we'll be back once we're setting it. We're going to be drifting out with the tide, guys. We've gone into deeper water today. Every time we're doing this, we're trying to just vary it up and just see the best way to catch fish. Nice. We've got the boat in gear at the moment, guys, because it's just too slow. So all it is is on tick over, just heading straight out the same way as the wind. And hopefully, we're good to go. Keeping the line nice and tight this time. Last time I made the mistake of dropping the line on top of itself, so that was a well good lesson learned. That was. We're doing these all the time because we're trying to catch flatties. That's the whole goal of this. Don't mind these beans. The pots have been soaking for three days, so fingers crossed we can get a, a few lots. It's got to be a good 150 meters now, eh? Yeah, it's a long haul line. Look at that. Happy days. And she is tight as a drum this time. We didn't make the same mistake as last time. So, fingers crossed, we get 25 flatties, 16 red mullet, and a giant bass. First crab pots of the day. What are we going to get? Hopefully a Larry Lobster. Yeah. These were baited three days ago. Battery decided to die. We've got a few crabs in there. One of them might be legal, actually. That one there. We'll see. What we got in this one, Sam? Ooh. Take your time. What's in there? Oh, we've got more crab. more crab. That one might be a keeper there as well. Nice male in there. Nice. We'll get out of a little safe zone. We'll get them emptied. Look at that for a nice brown crab, guys. Nice, solid male crab, that. Really heavy. That's a great start to the day. We're going to keep that bad boy. Hopefully, we can get some more. We've got a load of small ones as well. Nice, chunky female. Is she legal? Oh, she's in. Oh, she's in. That male's definitely in by a long shot, then, eh? That's two brown crabs we've got now. We might let the females go, depending on how the other pots do. And in here, we just got a bunch of small stuff. That one there is probably legal as well, eh? Just have a look. I'm not going to keep it because it is a bit small, but... But look at that. That's the legal That's size. Nice so it just goes to show, you know? <laughs> the next pots are coming up. Let's go. Brown crabs again. Yeah. Nothing decent in them. Couple of little spider crabs, couple of little brown crabs. On to the next one. Got a 
Oh gosh. Again. I never catch much in these pots. One female spider crab in there. Yeah, terrible. Bunch of little stuff. Why is there so many spider crabs around? I don't know. Long time of the year, really, yeah? Yeah. Just mounds of these little spider crabs in these pots, guys. Not much to see, so we head off onto the next set. Hopefully, we get a lobster there. But if not, I'm happy we got some brown crab because we don't often get brown crab here. That's all you It's got a short rope on this one, so I don't mind putting it in the Sam's in. Nice, we just moved to another little spot. First cast, eh mate? First cast. Do you reckon it's a big one? Uh, I don't know, maybe about three, four pounds. It gave a good run. Three pounds maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it started off nice. Sorry if there's any wind noise, guys. Happy to see a basil. Oh, not a bad one. It's not a bad fish at all, that. Yeah, that's a nice one. About that's a nice one. Pound, yeah, about two and a half pounder. Yeah. Lovely, what was that one on? That was on a black tide, sc uh, uh, scary zeal. Nice. Happy days. First basil down. Some good ones in the bay though, eh? Yeah, not bad. Nice, clean, healthy bass. That's what we want to see. We don't need any bass today unless Sam wants to keep one. No, not at all, but lovely. There you go. Beautiful. Well done, mate. Let's back. get some more. Bye -bye. We've got her back. She was right in the rocks, eh, she mate? Was we had it tied to the front of the boat and we were driving around in circles. <laughs> Hopefully we got something out of it though. Brown crabs. A few small brown crabs, a lot of small stuff, eh? Oh, there's a lobster in there. Yeah, a little one. Hopefully this one's got the big lobster sound. Here we go. This is the next pot. And nothing. <laughs> nothing in that. We'll give you guys a show of what we got in the bottom pot. Not much to keep, at least we got a couple of brown crabs out of it. Nice. So we got those two. So we'll pull the long line soon. We're gonna go bass fishing for another hour or so. Yeah. Then we're good to go. At least the bait the pots are baited. Next, ready for next time. It seems to be the same old story in the pots at the moment. There's a lot of small stuff around. Look at that for a little baby lobster. Little baby female. And the rest is just a mound of brown crabs. Nothing to keep. Onwards and upwards, Sam. Hell yeah. We've managed to uh, get one of my pots back. Shout out to Ebrill for that. What a diamond. <laughs> so what we're going to do now, Sam? Go and pull the long line. Long lines. Hopefully we get a flatty. We are pulling the long line. First anchor. I'm excited about this. It's in a really deeper part of the bay. Fingers crossed. There'll be some fish. Right, the engine, yeah, both spinning. We've turned the engine off today because there's a. Uh, oh, straight away we've got a dogfish. Because uh, the wind's not very strong, so we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to be in any danger. So what I'll do for now is I'll just take the fish off. We'll leave them on the deck. Sort out what we get after. It's another dogfish day, by the looks of it. <laughs> Look at this line coming up. Oh, lovely. The deadly dogfish. Show me some good fish. We didn't get lucky on this one. 
the dog fish. Alright, that's what I'm hooking today. So there you go guys. We've just got an extreme mess of dogfish today. We weren't lucky, but we've had fun. At least we got a brown crab. So I'm gonna go in there, unhook all this, pack it away. And I'll see you in the kitchen for a cook up. We are in the kitchen now, guys. We've got our two brown crab here. And I just wanted to show you guys. We've got a male and a female crab here. And both of the shells are roughly the same size on these. Look at the shells, they're roughly the same size, but look at the difference in the claw of this while he latches onto my bread. It's good, because he's going in that anyway. <laughs> so there you go. But you, the crab looks so much bigger than the males. I've dispatched the crabs. So what I do is I put a knife or a screwdriver straight through the bottom here and give it a wiggle around. And what it does is completely dispatch the crab before boiling. Same as lobsters, we like to dispatch them first. And with crabs, it's good to know, because when we dispatch them like this, the legs don't fall off when you chop them in the water. Because sometimes with, with crabs, when you're boiling them, you drop them in. Especially when they're alive, they, uh, the legs end up falling off. It's a good little tip. It's a lovely crab. Very heavy crab as well. Check that out. Beautiful. So what we're gonna do now is let these cool off. And we're gonna pick it all up. I've picked our crab now, guys. I've got a few ingredients here that I'm gonna make my pasta up with. I've got some mini chorizo sausages. We've got red and yellow peppers, some mushrooms, onions. We've got some sun-dried tomatoes, garlic, pepper, olive oil. We're going to put the pasta in the crab shells. A good old glug of olive oil in there. We're going to cook up some shell pasta for this. Fit in as it's a crab. So all I'm going to do is get this water to the boil. I've added loads of uh, sea salt to this. A good handful. And uh, salt the water well. It'll taste delicious. So we get this cooking. And we'll start cooking all of our other ingredients. Good old Guernsey butter. We get all of our sausage in there and our onions. We get that all fried down nicely. This is smelling great already. And from here I'm just going to add all of our other ingredients. So we've got garlic paste in here. I'm going to put a nice amount of garlic in there. I love my garlic. And then we've got our sun-dried tomato pesto. And we get a couple of dollops of that in there. Give it a good old stir up. This is smelling absolutely amazing. All these different flavors in here. It's amazing. What we're gonna do is add some cream soon. We're just gonna let this go down a little bit more. Add a bit of cream. You know, a nice old sauce then. And that'll go nicely over our pasta. Can't go wrong with a little bit of smoked paprika as well. Why not? Just a little bit on there. 
and we're almost, <coughs> and we're almost ready to add the cream. I'm going to be adding my crab last. We'll just get this all cooked through nicely. Get our pasta in. We're just going to add a little bit of cream here. This isn't a very big pot. We're just going to slowly mix that all in and make a nice pasta sauce. Delicious. And like I said before guys, once this has simmered a little bit, we'll add our crab. And it's going to be a flavorful little pasta sauce, that's for sure. That's our pasta sauce completely ready. Now you can see it's thickened up a little bit. All I've got to do is add all of our crab. And there's some brown meat in here, some white. I've eaten quite a lot as well. So we just put that in there. And look at that for a delicious tasting sauce. Oh yeah. Gone full Chef Ramsay today. <laughs> That's our pasta nicely cooked. So we're gonna do now. <clears throat> so we're gonna do now. Strain it off, and it goes straight into our delicious pasta sauce. I've cooked way too much as normal. It's all worth it though. I'm gonna stir that in for now. Last of all, all we've got is our crab shells here. And I'm gonna fill them up full of this delicious crab pasta. Get it all smothered in there, making sure there's loads of the meat. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. Pat it in there, just like so. And we'll get the other one done and add some breadcrumbs. Just to add a little bit of crisp, I'm gonna cover these in a few breadcrumbs just to make the top nice and crunchy. Just like so, don't need to go too crazy. Just enough so it sticks. Check that delicious meal guys. Two shanka shells full of crab pasta. Delicious. That juicy crab meat in there. Oh. So there we go guys. One crab pasta cooked in a, in a shell. Absolutely delicious. Mm. That's so juicy. <laughs> mm. That's probably one of the best catch and cooks I've done. That is delicious. You can taste the garlic, you can taste everything. Black pepper. Mm. I even put big chunks of the inner shell in this as well. Everything from brown meat went in this, but I, I don't think I filmed that. But yeah, I put some of the brown meat in, just for the flavour of the crab. Oh, that's heaven. There's just enough crab in this, where everything's coated nicely in it. Mm. That was well worth the effort. Not that it was much effort to do this, but... Oh yeah. Just the fact it's in a crab shell. Makes it all the better. Mm. I'm not going to leave the video any longer, guys. I'm going to absolutely demolish this. That is absolutely delicious. I highly recommend doing that. Mm. So if you want any merch, the link's in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. This is absolutely delicious. Smash fishing, baby. Woo! Thank you.